What's going on, my fellow Guardians? Thanks again for joining me. Today's Friday, October 6th, and you know what that means. Zer's back in the tower, and um, he's brought some goodies for us. He's going to be located over here by the speaker, and um, let's check it out and see what he's got for us this week. Hopefully it's as cool as it was last week. I ended up getting so many things. <laughs> I also lost a lot of strange coins, but um, oh well. It's for our endeavor to get our collection complete, right? <laughs> Yeah, I ended up getting like three um, special weapons from the Legacy Engrams, and that was pretty cool. I just need one more weapon from year one. Alright, this week, not so great, but let's go over everything he's got anyways. Alright, for the Titan class, he's got the Helm of Inmost Light. It has a 280 defense and a max intellect of 77. Possible stat rolls for the intellect are 95. So, it's on the closer to the higher end, but not quite there. This one gains, gives you gain death from above and headstrong, gain bonus super energy on grenade kills, gain bonus melee energy on ore pickups, and this one's also 13 strange coins. For the Hunter class, he's got the Celestial Nighthawk. It's got a 280 defense and a max intellect of 46 and a max strength of 51. Possible stat rolls for the intellect are 35 to 95, and for the strength, 35 to 60. So strength's pretty decent. Intellect, not so good. This one gives you Golden Gun fires one shot with 6 times damage while granting keyhole for over penetration. Gain bonus super energy and grenade kills. Replenish health when you pick up an orb. This one's also 13 strange coins. And then finally for the Warlock class, he's got the Impossible Machine. This is a 280 defense and has max intellect of 43 and a max strength of 44. The possible stat rules for the intellect are 31 to 53. And for the strength, they're 31 to 84. So intellect, decent strength, not so good. This one gives you Grand Slandfall, increased melee attack speed, and increased reload speed with scout rifles. This one's 13 strange coins. And here we have, um, for this week, he's got an exotic Engram, the helmet, and it's 19 strange coins. And for year one stuff, if you're missing primary weapons, you can get the... Um, the Legacy Engram is 31 strange coins. The only weapons I believe won't work are the Mythal class and the Necrochasm, Necrochasm, which is the weapon that I need. But anyways, um, let's go over the curious this week. It's the Emerald Coil, Stealth Drive, all right, it's 23 strange coins a piece. Um, heavy Ammo Synthesis, um, you get three of them for one strange coin. You get three of coins, you get five of them for seven strange coins, and then you get the Glass Needles, and there are three strange coins, three motes of light, and one exotic shard. And finally, he's got motes of light. Um, one mode of light for two strange coins. All right, so um, not too exciting this week. He's got some okay armors, I guess. <laughs> it's funny that this week I actually ended up getting this in my night farm. It's a 310, so no need to get this, even though I already had one before that, but. I like my 310. Only thing is it's not like an intellect roll. But oh well. And um, let's see what we got here. This one's decent. But it's only like one shot time. Like you don't get too many shots with it. So if you miss that shot. It's going to end up hurting you. And I mean it looks pretty cool. But uh, I don't know. And then this one was pretty popular back in the day in year one. Um, I haven't seen too many people rocking it lately. But, um, that's pretty much it for this week with Zer and what he's got in stock for us. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy, keep enjoying the rest of the game. Um, I'll be seeing you next week, Tuesday, where I'll be showing you what the resets are. And, um, enjoy guys. Later.